Mr. Badger talks to utter scum, live. September 24th, 7.30 p.m. at Fat Theo Comedy Club, Redditch, B980 EP tickets available via Joke Pit. We're here for another episode of Mr. Badger Talks to Utter Scum, and I'm here with an incredibly <laughs> close friend of mine, the former Barcelona footballer, Lionel Messi. How are you, Lionel? <laughs> Not bad. I thought, where, where, where is it? I thought I was. I thought I was going on women's hour. Well, technically, I am I thought... a woman. I am trans. <laughs> right. That's good. That's good. No, it's great to. It's great. Great to be here. Uh, how How are you coping with this heat? I know badgers are famous for their thick fur, and uh, also living in holes underground. I've had to shed me fur today. You know, I've had to do it in my pajamas because. Uh... I've got horrific burns, you see. I didn't want to scare you, so I didn't want to be naked. But I couldn't I couldn't put my badger outfit on today. <laughs> How are you coping with the uh, the top class football you're playing in this weather? Yeah, oh, man, I love I love playing football. Got I've got no idea uh what Barcelona is. I'm assuming that the city in Spain it's got a football team and <laughs> yeah. have they got a player have they got a player playing in the probably for the Manchesters? Are you not Lionel Messi then? No. No, I'm I'm a, I'm a different kind of Messi. Oh shit! Um, I think I booked the wrong. We'll, we'll, we'll just check. What was your subject you've come to talk about today? I don't know. I just got sent a Zoom link. Oh, I've got. You're going to talk about rodents or something? Talk about rodents? Oh yeah, no, yeah. Let's talk about rodents. So uh, basically. R- Rodents. Badgers, badgers aren't rodents. Um, badgers are actually quite a unique uh, classification. They're a genre. I think they're uh, they're related to like mongoose and stuff, and they're not related but to like a lot of other animals. You can't say that anymore. Uh, no, you, the mentally you this challenged is, case. This is why Christmas is awkward in your set. Yeah. Right? But uh, rodents, there's loads of different rodents. The biggest rodent is the capybara, which can grow to probably about 200 pounds. Ca- uh, I know that's, I know that sounds like a lot of money, but it lives in Brazil, so with you know with the exchange rate, it's actually it's not too bad. But it lives in Brazil. It's incredibly successful as an animal. It can live in the jungle. Uh, it can live in uh, sort of in city areas if there's water. Uh, it just needs water to keep its uh, to keep its skin uh, hydrated. Uh, as, so it's semi aquatic. As it won, Brazil's got talent. No, but honestly, like these things, no, good, man, dogs, you got to train them to like jump through hoops and stuff. Capybara, they already jump. They jump into the water. They do. I don't know if you've seen the footage of capybara jumping into the water. It's a big sort of dive bomb thing. Uh, they've got webbed toes, um, like a oh, like I? a Norfolk. Right, nice. Right, do you want to show us? I, I can't. Uh, I, I say that I've got scars all over my body and I, I don't want to scare. The children watch this, you know. <laughs> they, make, they make them watch it. In Good. North Korean should. camps. They should. This is, this is, honestly, this, this, this should get them over the trauma. I haven't watched, haven't watched Drag Queen Story Hour <laughs> again. You know what I mean? Having a badger show them some scars on his lower torso. Yeah, that's well. I'd show them more than me scars, but anyway, back, back onto these magical hoop jumping monkeys or whatever it was you're on about. Yeah, coconut doggies. They're like uh, they look like a big coconut. Um, there's not many places in the UK you can go and see one. They're very friendly. You can pet them even in the wild. They're they're very trusting and they make friends with other other animals. I've even seen one making friends with a caiman, which is a type of sort of alligator crocodile type thing um, and yeah they, they make friends with other animals but uh, but my, I mean they're the biggest rodent I'm not sure what the smallest rodent is but there's also gerbils who live uh, they live in the Mongolian desert all the way through uh, all the way through Russia to, to China uh, again an incredibly successful adaptable animal uh, all the gerbils in the west are descended from 11 gerbils that are brought over in the Victorian period and because of their because they're sort of docile nature, they became very popular as laboratory animals. Which shows if you don't want to be used as a laboratory animal, you got to be uh, vicious. Got to be vicious. You got to bite everything. 
That sounds a little bit like the comedy community where if you don't want to be walked over, you have to sort of stand your ground a little bit. Oh, yeah, and if you do stand your ground, you get cancelled by everybody if you speak well, your truth. That's because you're a racist, the LCA told me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Apparently I'm an ultra-far-right neo-Nazi racist. Man, all, all this stuff is such a load of shite. Because, like, I don't know if you saw it just yesterday, so Drag Queen Story Hour, they're going around, they're doing a big tour of UK primary schools. So it's three to 11-year-olds, which is quite young to, you know, have some drag queen uh, helicopter, uh, his hair, dick in your face. Uh, so some parents are obviously, understandably, they're like, what the hell? Drag queen is, you know, it's a great, it's a great thing for a Friday night at 11 p.m. with adults in the room. It's not so much, you know, a, a thing for, uh, for primary schools. So they complained. So Drag Queen Story Hour UK, they've been complaining that a uh, far-right neo-Nazi group has been disrupting their uh, their plans by complaining and booking t- uh, block booking tickets and stuff. So that's, that neo-Nazi group that you're complaining about is Mum's Net. You know what I mean? Well, there's <laughs> the well, barrier the barrier for entry for being considered a Nazi these days is is kind of lower than it was in 1939. I'll be I'd rather hang around with Nazis than some of the people on Mum's Net. So. Um... <laughs> I will say that I don't mind the normalisation of, you know, not just drag queens, but trans communities. And I don't mind educating children, but I do think that as it's their right to, to, to be what they want to be, it should also be the parents' right to let children see what they want them to see. Yeah. Yeah. And also, like, drag drag is an innately sexualised thing. It's like dressing up as a badger and then masturbating yeah. furiously below the camera line. It's just yeah. an innately sexualised thing. Yeah, well, well, you'll be the first person to say that, that I'm sexualized. Um, <laughs> actually, no, that's a lie. I did get offered a shag after a gig once, but then she sobered up. So, right. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, we're, 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 we're veering mild, massively off course now because I'm sure my my listeners don't want to listen to to co- comedy going on. They want to know about rodents. Yeah, 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 yeah. So gerbils. Uh, so the first ever. Um, recorded pet gerbil and recorded in history was actually owned by Genghis Khan, the the fearsome warlord. I, just, so, I thought Hitler was the first one to have a famous gerbils. Oh, that yeah, <laughs> very good. <laughs> what? But Hitler Hitler came after um, Genghis Khan, and also no, no, Genghis Khan was in Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure, actually. But only because of time travel. That can only happen because of time travel. Time travel is not real. I know, but in the in the film, they, they had time travel. Bill? Bill and Ted aren't real either. What do you mean, Bill? <laughs> so uh, anyway, Genghis Khan. The legend has it that uh, this assassin, because you know, Genghis Khan was going across the across Mongolia, across China, or wherever, Mongols. doing all this, doing all this. Uh, yeah, he had a Mongol army or Mongol oh, horde. They can't have been uh, very good. Although collected. good strength, really strong. Yeah, 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 and, uh, and if, if you want a hug, then um, yeah, yeah, Genghis Khan's army would be the place to be. Do they just but... dribble on people and drown them to death? <laughs> so he was going across Mongolia doing all his uh, raping and pillaging and stuff, proper Me Too stuff, but they didn't have Twitter or hashtags back then, so they couldn't stop him. No. And uh, one night he was, in his, he was in his tent and an assassin crept into the tent to kill him with a big sword. And uh, this gerbil that was in the tent bit the assassin on the foot, and the assassin shrieked in pain. <laughs> and uh, woke up Genghis Khan, who then killed the assassin. Um, and then, you know, Genghis was so impressed with the, the, the sort of bravery of this gerbil, he kept it as a pet. But, which is actually bad because they're social animals, so you need to keep them in pairs. But Genghis probably didn't know that because he was the first person to ever have one as a pet. But, it was a monk, so. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, to be honest, it was quite, quite a, quite, a, quite a smart thing for him to do, all things considered. Yeah. Um, that's it. Instead of getting a, a dog or even a goose, anything danger, get some gerbils to guard you. That's uh, oh dear. Yeah. Although, what it's a smaller. status symbol! I am that unafraid of you. A fucking gerbil is my guard dog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh dear. Yeah. Well, I, I had a similar incident where. Um, a ferret? Ferrets are rodent. I don't know. Uh, I don't know that a ferret actually is a rodent. There's another uh, classification of um, 
of animals like with weasels and stuff like that so yeah i, I, I don't i don't 100% know but i don't actually think it's a rodent a rabbit is a rodent a, a rabbit is a rodent <laughs> well because i had a, a ferret it was it was basically my guard pet it was part of my magic set you know and uh oh, yeah. I, on the way to a gig one night i pulled over for a piss you know as comedians often do and i was physically attacked by, by an animal and, and the, 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 the ferret leapt to my aid and uh, fought off this animal. But uh, sadly, he was mortally injured during, and I, I had to do the kindest thing for him, you know. So, so yeah, one saved my life. That's amazing. That's sort of like the Genghis Khan story. Yeah, it's only Genghis Khan didn't have to gas him on his exhaust pipe. <laughs> he was fucking hot as well, just set on fire. <laughs> Not something to laugh at, Leo. That was my best friend. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah. Well, yeah. But we're getting quite morbid here. We'll, we'll have a bit of a break. Do, do you watch the podcast regularly? Uh, yeah. Of course you. So you know we've got a quiz coming up now. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm ready yeah, for the quiz. I, I'll be honest with you. I have fucked up slightly. I've just sort of gone along with what you said because uh, you said rodents, didn't you? Yeah. I, I, I've been researching. The, Rodez in in France, so oh um, right, yeah. So we've got five questions. Uh, we're gonna yeah. see how many you get right. Uh, normally we do all music and shit over the top of it, like countdown, but uh, we don't do thirty seconds, so I gave up. So uh, we'll, we'll go for question number one. Question number one is what massive sporting event is happening in Rodez today? Uh, is it the Tour de France? Correct. Oh, that's number one. You've, you've actually got one correct. Fuck it, hell. I should, I Holy should shit. Do. Yeah, I know. So we're going to go for it. number two. Another sporting one is uh, why is uh, the women's football team better than the men's football team? Well, th- this is, see, this is a subjective, subjective judgment, but they score more goals. But the thing is, people say they're better because they score more goals, but they're playing against women who aren't <laughs> as good at football. <laughs> uh, the, the the actual answer is that Rodez are in League Two. Uh, they, they don't really come out of League Two, and the women's football team are one of the best football teams, and they're in the top league. Uh, French oh. women. So there oh. we go. But as you say, what, what does that even mean? It means hairy armpits. You, you could play them against toddlers, couldn't you? It's, you know, <laughs> I, I'd probably watch that one. Uh, so uh, the uh, the next thing is, how many runways does Rodez Airport have? Is it one? Close, it's one and a half. All right. <laughs> they have one uh, one runway and then a, a small one for uh, like small aircraft and that, but not a proper runway. But yeah, so it's, right. it's not. It's only a recent addition. I say recent, relatively recent addition to road there. So uh, uh, the, the next one would be uh, who is the famous French former fecre- fucking hell, former <laughs> French Secretary of State for Sport? From Rodez. Uh, would it be Lionel Jospin? No, it was Bernard Laporte. Oh, I think I think it's Bernard, but it's spelled Bernard. Yeah, yeah. I bet if he moved to Mansfield, he'd be calling it Bernard pretty quick. <laughs> that's it, Bernard Laporte. Uh, <laughs> Dos beers, poor for oh, that's not for it. Fuck it. Uh, so. <laughs> 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 The final question, you've only got one right so far, and this is a very, very easy, it's not easy. We've got another question for you, it's the final one, is who from Rodez is 102 years old and was named in 2014 as being the world's greatest living artist? 100 years old? 102. 100, what, they're still alive? Still alive! Born in 1919. And the greatest living artist. Yeah. Um, and French. Well, you, you'd guess so since he's from there. <laughs> <laughs> he's transnational. Uh, he's Japanese now. Uh, Have the eyes done. He's... <laughs> I like that. I like that boy band fan. Um, yeah. What well, French artist? I, I don't. Uh, Toulouse Lautrec. Oh, you, you're close with the last, well, the first name is their, almost their last name, is Pierre Soulage. So, Toulouse, oh, right. it's Soulage. 
But yeah, Pierre Soulage, uh, 1919, 102 years old, the greatest living artist, and he lives oh. in a place that sounds like the name of a man. So, <laughs> and also his name sounds like Silage. If he moved to Dumfries, <laughs> that would be Peter Silage. <laughs> Peter Silage. Oh, and dear. he wouldn't do art. He wouldn't do art. He'd just do like he'd play the darts, and he'd buy pub snacks so that he could see the naked woman behind the pub snacks. <laughs> Well, you're not allowed to have naked women behind the pub snacks anymore. Uh, Unless they've got a cock. Well, if, you can yeah. get, <laughs> if you can get the scampies down and it's got a great big cock uh, behind it, you're all bloody, right. Bloody EU. <laughs> EU. EU. So, talking of EU, EU were going to tell me more about rodents. Yeah, so, um, so gerbils, uh, gerbils are actually used um, to test treatments for depression. Because they've got a similar brain structure as as humans. And so gerbils they, get depressed a lot. Gerbil, if because they, they're sociable, if they're if they're removed from, you can go to Cotswold Wildlife Park. I don't know if it's near you, but uh, you can see they've actually got gerbils in the zoo, and you can see them all like running about, sort of doing all their stuff. They're very active. Uh, they don't but, just sit there. Some animals just sit there. So um, on, their, their zoo has got gerbils in it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Does it also have a dog, a cat? <laughs> I don't know. Some sort of fucking don't chameleon. It, they don't even have cats or dogs. <laughs> it's got uh, it's got tigers and shit like that. But the best thing is ah, the gerbils. Right. So you never the, normally get. You go to London Zoo. There's no like gerbils or anything. And if you go to the pet shop, which is sort of like a free zoo, uh, then they do have gerbils. But they're in like you know multicolored like uh, paper bedding and stuff. So it's not like seeing them in the desert. If you go to Cotswold Wildlife Park, it's like seeing them in the desert. Ah, okay. So yeah, I, I must. Have, I didn't know that they were social animals. It probably explains why that one I had killed itself. So, uh, yeah. uh, are you a, a, a rodent owner? Not yet. Not yet. Um, like doing live comedy, it's very difficult to sort of uh, you know know that you're going to be home to make sure it's got food and water and stuff. Um, but I think I'm good because I'm having a, a baby. So um, when the baby is a certain age, then we can get gerbils. Oh, is that like a, a present in your culture? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You present right. the baby with some gerbils. Three, get a gerbil. Seven, have a yak. Uh, Nineteen, yeah. fuck no. Mongoose, back on mongoose again. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm surprised Genghis Khan didn't have a mongoose. That's it. Uh, they're, just, they're fucking nasty. Just like a disabled goose. <laughs> yeah, this is it. But I, 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 did, I did a joke about that, and a woman pulled me up on it because number oh. one, she, she <laughs> sadly she she, uh, she she informed me that a mongoose is not actually a type of goose, like you know, because I never knew that. I didn't know that while I was writing the joke. But also, she told me that there's no way I could have been attacked by a mongoose because uh, they're apparently only in America. We don't have them in the UK. Uh, I don't think she's heard of the concept of zoos, which was part of the joke. Yeah. But yeah, no. So, I, and thank also, you, thank you, mystery woman, for explaining also, all that to me. Also, mongoose. Mongoose are like they're in like Africa and Asia and stuff. I don't think they're in America. She's thinking of groundhogs. <laughs> Fuck it up. Well, she she had had about four pints, but never mind. Yeah. No, she right. told me that a mongoose is only in America and. Uh, they, they're not actually geese, so I thanked her very much for that, and uh, we moved right. on with the set. I got bit by a swan. Bitten? Yeah. I thought they, they broke your arm with their wings or something. No, no well this this one, he might have, maybe they're branching out into other forms of, of pain, but this one bit me on the leg, but it didn't really hurt because I was wearing jeans. <laughs> so it's quite useless then? Yeah. Just like, bit, like, I think I, I think he was in a. You know how sharks, when there's blood in the water, they go into a freezing feeding frenzy. Yeah. Well, there was there was bits of bread in the water, so I think it was the same. It was like they'd been chumming the water with uh, with bread. And, I said, and they uh, noticed how pale your skin was, and went, "He might be made out of bread." And they just had to yeah, go on. Yeah. <laughs> He'd be a big bread man, the gender bread man. <laughs> The gender bread man. Well, we know what you're going to be touring the schools with in 2023. <laughs> Fuck you know. Yeah, if comedy doesn't work out, I'm I'm slapping on a frock, some fake <laughs> eye, eyelashes or whatever, and I'm getting out out there, to, well, the thing, teaching the kids about why they should be transgender. 
if comedy doesn't work, just do that and it will work. <laughs> so you'll get more gigs. <laughs> oh you are actually doing very, very well in the world. You're a, a host on a GMTV. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah. That's right. I've got to get up till 6 a.m., do the weather. But uh, yeah, no, it's, it's, going, it's going well. <laughs> What what is the the show you're on, Sonny? So I do the, I do the show on uh, on GP News, uh, which oh. is either just a, a sort of more balanced look at the news or um, a far right cesspit of uh, evil Nazi demagoguery, depending on if you ask uh, Ben Vanderbilt or not. But uh, so eh? I do the show on it. Uh, he's a he's a shit comedian who's always <laughs> pissing on about fucking right wing stuff. Um, but. There's a, there's a bunch of them. James Ross as well, total fanny. There's there's some connection between man. There's not a bar of soap between a lot of these cunts. Like, uh, yeah. but yeah. So GB News. I do the show called uh, Headliners, which yes. is which is. And there's other shows as well that I do, but Headliners is the best one. It's on every night at 11 p.m. Uh, and basically get like two comedians to go through the next day's top stories. So sometimes it's it's. Like it depends who's on, but usually, usually it's a good laugh and it's quick and it's fun. Oh, that's nice. That's eleven. P- what what do you watch that on, sorry? I watch it on TV, but you can also watch it on YouTube and on on the app. It's, it's on an app. It's on YouTube. And what what station is it on on TV, or is it its own station? GB News. The so GB News is a channel. Yeah. Well, fuck me. I've learned something <laughs> today. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be honest. I, I've seen you on uh, on YouTube. I, I, I don't watch anything else. So I'm not allowed to for yeah. parental controls, you know. So <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but no, well, uh, we've learned a little bit about rodents. Uh, we've not even talked about the main one, which is I suppose mice and rats and all that, haven't we? Yeah. Well, yeah, rats. I mean, like they're. I guess they are the the main one. Um, but I don't think they're the most interesting. And people say they're intelligent, but if they're intelligent, why do they just like live in sewers? Like that's what a stupid person would do, and mice are what, what, too small. What do you mean by there. that? So it's, the sewers are dirty; they're, they're full of like shite and stuff. Yeah. What happens and, if you have to live in one? And fat burgers. You don't live in a sewer. You live in a set. Well, no, I, sh- I sh- canonically I should do, but sadly, um, you see, I, I have been living in this couple's house for the past few years, but then. The children come, then they find out they were dead, so they've kicked me out now. So uh, I live wherever I can at the moment. Right. Yeah. Sounds like better than a comedian's life, still. Well, that's it. At least I don't have to fucking flat share with six other cunts, you know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Pretending I like them and everything. Well, that's because uh, you seem to be doing quite well for yourself. You've got your own flat. Yeah. I've got pictures on the wall and everything. Pictures, <laughs> look, map, map Did- of the world. Did you have to ask somebody's permission to put that up? No. Uh, Fucking hell. Did it? No, I just did it. Well, that's it. Lawbreaker. Rule breaker. Leo cares. I've got your name right this time as well. That's put that continuity up. Um, <laughs> so, well, it's been lovely having you on there. I did say I'd only keep you for 20 minutes. But yeah, so we'll plug it one last time. We are on Headliners on uh, GB News, which is on the oh, yeah. on YouTube. And, and my YouTube channel. like. That's, People should that, go and watch my YouTube channel because then I get money. Because you've got a fucking, you've got a load of followers on there now, haven't you? Yeah, it's going up. It's going up slowly. Carry on at this rate, and you'll be the next Andrew Lawrence. <laughs> 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 Lovely chatting to you, mate. Say goodbye to the boys and girls. Good night. Good night. Goodbye, Mr. Badger. Goodbye, boys and girls. Goodbye, Leo Messi. Bye. Uh, <laughs>